Hello, my name is Jack Sloan and I am a student at SUNY Purchase. Today, I will be showing you how to use the Purchase Job Score resource, which is a very helpful tool for those looking into future or current career possibilities and opportunities. It has proven to be a helpful resource for plenty of students, such as myself, and maybe you will want to check it out as well. To start off, we'll have to access the Job Score website first. This is the Purchase College homepage. Scrolling down, eventually you will see a section called Offices and Resources under Need Assistance here. Click on that, and now we'll scroll down to C and click on the Career Development Center. On this page, we'll go down and you will see the Job Score logo on the right here. Click on that, and here's the page for Purchase Job Score. It gives you some info on that resource, like that it's an online job search system providing listings for those involved with purchase, and it also brings up how students are auto-imported weekly into Purchase Job Score. And if you have not logged in yet, please select Generate or Reset Password with your full purchase email address to have an email sent to you to set a password and access your account. Now that we're here, you can now log into the resource with this link right here. I am logged in with a test account for this video, but you should use your purchase credentials when logging in yourself. Now, this is the main home page of a Job Score website. There's lots to see here, but let's start with this menu right here. First, we have Academic Internship Program where you can submit and manage learning contracts for different academic internships. Then there's the job search, where you can quickly access that section of the site, but more on that in a bit. Then we have Pathways, which, when available to you, will give you helpful steps for career readiness. In Public Profile, you can see your current academic and professional achievements, such as education, past experience, and so on. Finally, you can add your resume to the website, which will be able to help you apply for jobs and internships. Going down here, we have some upcoming events that may be helpful to check out and potentially go to, as they may help with the job search. These events can include fairs, networking events, panels, workshops, and employer visits. Further down, we have sections for what people in your major are interested in, as well as the latest jobs added to job score. Lastly here, we have some announcements that may be helpful to read if you want to. Next, we're going to go into the job search section of the resource and take a closer look at it. As you can see, there are multiple different ways to search for jobs, including through the position type, job function, and specific keywords. Searching by industry is not recommended, though. There's also location here, but you might not always want to include that because then you might miss some remote jobs in the search. Something helpful you can also do is search for a keyword and then do a separate job function search to narrow things down further. Once you search something up, you can star it here and save it which you can then see in the Save section up here. You can also click on the job for more info on it and apply as well if you'd like. Here you can also see applications you've submitted for jobs, as well as jobs that have expired. Another thing you can do is create a job alert, which if you'd like will be able to email you new jobs that come up for however long a duration you like. It can also be used just to save a specific search. Back on the home page, up here, is a top menu with more helpful tools. It serves as another way to access jobs and internships, as well as more events. If you want to select fairs or expos that have happened in the past, or other events in general, you can go to When right here and select Past. To attend an event such as a career fair like this one, you can click on it and RSVP by selecting Attend right here. Further on at the top, there's the Employer Database, where you can search for any employer you would like, whether they have a current job poster or not. Then we have some additional resources, such as a document library that can provide some useful learning resources for things such as interviewing. There's also the Career Finder, which looks at your interests and gives you careers based on that. And there's also Career Explorer, which can tell you about popular careers and leading industries. There are also some shortcuts down here if you want to access certain sections quicker. And there's also Candid Career and Way Up Down Further, which can be other helpful resources for obtaining a job. And here we have a section for scheduling counselor appointments, which will allow you to talk to someone about career opportunities. You can request an appointment right here and select a counselor, a date for the meeting, a time, pick if you want to do it in person or not, or check availability on specific days. You can submit the request then and see if it gets approved. Next, you can select your profile right up here, which will allow you to see any notifications you may have. You can also view and update your public profile, view the academic internship program, view surveys you can take, look at your account info, and get help and feedback if you need it. You can also sign out as well. One more thing you can do here is view your documents, where you can upload your resume or other important documents by clicking Add New here and submitting it via the resource. 
Once you submit it, it will be under pending while it goes through approval. And once it gets reviewed by a staff member and accepted, then it goes under approved. Going back to the My Account section here, you can see that you can update info such as personal information, password and privacy settings, and email notifications as well. With the privacy settings here, there's an opt-in option to remote yourself to employers. This can put yourself in front of many hiring employers, and you can be contacted by recruiters about career opportunities. Your resume will also be shared with them. You can click learn more if you would like to see more about this. So that was a look at the Purchase Job Score resource. It is something that can be very helpful to you if you want to explore future career opportunities for yourself, and maybe you want to look further into it. So go onto the Purchase website and go to Purchase Job Score.